house for our craft time today. When we were reading our story about Pete the cat and the first Thanksgiving, I thought, what if we made special Thanksgiving hats and things to wear for our celebrations? I brought my teacher bag with me. Let's see what's inside. We have lots of different color paper. A marker, a scissors, a pencil, and a glue stick. I thought the first thing that we could make was a hat just like Pete the Cat wore. So the first thing I'm going to need to make Pete's special pilgrim hat is my scissors and my black paper. And first I'm going to cut a very long strip of two pieces of paper at the same time so that I can make a headband to attach my hat to. And that way it will be sure to stay on my head. I have to use my muscles because these two pieces of paper are very thick together. There have the strips for my headband. Now I need to cut a piece of this black paper in the shape of Pete's hat. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see my lines, but I'm going to make sort of a diagonal line this way and a diagonal line this way. And then I'm going to cut on my lines. Now I'm going to take my other piece of black paper and I'm going to cut another long strip for the hat brim. Then I'm going to put my glue Get my glue stick out on the bottom of my hat, all along the bottom here. Then I can attach my long strip. Is it starting to look like Pete's hat? I think it is. I think what we should add next is a buckle. I think I'll use two different color paper for this. I'm gonna use blue, and then I'm also gonna use yellow next. And I think that will make my hat look pretty neat. So I'm gonna need a strip of paper about as long as this. So I'm going to use my pencil again, just to trace where I need to cut. Perfect. Now I get to use my glue again. I'm going to put my glue on my blue piece of paper. And then I'm going to set it on the hat just above the brim. And press really nice and hard. That looks pretty good, I think. Now for the buckle. I'm going to use a piece of yellow paper for the buckle. My buckle doesn't need to be perfect, but I see that Pete's is kind of square here, so I'm going to make mine square too. I should move my hat out of the way. I'm just going to draw a square. 
It's more really a rectangle, isn't it? And I see that it's got another square in the middle. So I'm gonna just cut that out. I'm gonna fold this in half. I'm gonna cut here and here. And I'm gonna cut the middle out. And you know what? It's not perfect, but I think it's gonna look great. What do you think? Let's glue it on. I'm gonna put some glue on my buckle. Glue it right in the middle. Look at that. How does our hat look? Does it look like Pete's hat? I think so too. The next thing I need to do is use those strips of black paper that I cut apart and make a headband out of this hat so it fits on my head. So I'm gonna use a stapler for this part. Staple one. Staple two. I'm just setting this underneath the brim of my hat. Staple two. And then I'm going to take those two long pieces and they're going to meet together on the back and make sure that it's big enough for Mrs. Belke's head. Do you think that's going to work? I sure hope so. Maybe mom and dad or grandma and grandpa or somebody that you know can help measure your head when you make your headband so it fits. There it is. All done. Should we see how it looks? Mrs. Belke is a pilgrim, just like Pete the Cat. I hope you like my hat. I had fun making it with you. I can't wait to see a picture of you in your hat. That was so much fun. Now let's make something like what Squanto was wearing in the book. Squanto was a Native American, and he was wearing a headdress with feathers, so I thought we could make one of those too. First, I'm going to use some orange paper, and I have two pieces here, and I'm going to cut a long strip of both of those two pieces to make my headband. And this time I'm going to use glue for my headband. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this end and stick them together. Then I'm going to put a little glue on this end. And I'm going to make a headband by bringing it all the way around like this, sticking it together the shape of a circle. Here we go. And now I'm going to cut a feather out of my yellow paper. I'm going to make a nice big feather. And before I glue it on, I'm going to write something special on it. You know, Native Americans would give people special names that would tell everyone about who they were. And if I was going to be making you this headband, I would be giving you a special name. And I think I know the perfect name for you. Little Big Heart, because I think that tells everyone about who you are. You might be little, but you have a very big heart full of love. So now I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom of my feather. And glue it on. There's 
our beautiful Native American feather headband. I thought it might be fun to make a Native American feather necklace to go with our wonderful headband that we created. So I'm gonna take two sheets of orange paper again and my scissors, and this time I'm going to cut a strip that sort of curved around like this. And I'm gonna follow it again, just like this. There. And if I take them apart, I have a necklace and I just need to glue the bottom. glue there but that's okay because my necklace will not fall apart there I've glued the bottom together and now it's time to cut my feathers I have three beautiful colors to use I have two pieces of purple paper two pieces of yellow paper and two pieces of blue paper I'm gonna put them all together at the same time. And I'm going to cut my feathers. That's okay if they're not all perfect. They're going to be beautiful. There we go. All done. Now I'm going to start gluing my feathers onto my necklace. I'm going to start at the very bottom with a nice purple feather right here. And then I think I'm going to make a pattern. I'm going to separate my feathers by color. I'm going to put my Purple feathers here, my yellow feathers here, and my blue feathers here. That will help me to know what pile to pick from. Here we go. So I'm starting with purple. Let's make a pattern. Purple. Yellow. Blue, purple, yellow, blue. It's a windy day. I can hear the wind blowing the leaves outside the playhouse today. Look at that beautiful. Our necklace is turning out lovely. Let's do the same pattern on the other side. Purple. What comes next? That's right. Yellow. And blue. Purple. Yellow, and blue. Look at that. Our necklace of feathers is all finished. Should we see how Mrs. Belky looks with her new special decorations? Here I am. Do I look like Squanto? I love dressing up for Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for being here with me in the playhouse and making crafts today. I love you and I hope you have fun 
making your own crafts and dressing up for Thanksgiving to pretend that you are a Native American or a pilgrim. But most of all, let's fill our hearts with big love and share with those we love on Thanksgiving. I'll be thinking of you and I'll be thanking God for you. I love you and I will see you next time. Thank you.